Hi everyone, we have been studying three-dimensional topics. Uh, we have seen equilibrium of a particle. We have learned the dot product, cross product, triple product, part by part to solve rigid body questions in three dimensions. Essentially, we had three support conditions in two dimensions. It was pin support, roller support, and fixed support. In three dimensions, it's the same concept, but you have more components. So this is a pin support. Normally, you would only have two components in two dimensions. Uh, it's going to be three components in three dimensions. If you look at your textbook, uh, it might look like overwhelming, but these are really uh, the same concept with slightly different representation. So these three pretty much the same. You would see in this case, you have two reactions. If there is a movement, then you are not going to have the force. For that reason, you don't see any Y force or any Y reaction in this system. Similarly, uh, if it is free to rotate around a certain axis, you are not going to have the moment reaction. So in that regard, this can rotate around Y axis and you are not going to have any moment for that axis. So these would require some thinking. These would require spending time with your textbook. It is about developing your understanding. In this case, we have everything because it's, it's a square shaft. So a square shaft prevents rotation. It's also preventing movement in this direction. So you have that force here as well right but this is uh, a round shaft so for that reason uh, it doesn't resist rotation you are not going to have any moment along y-axis so if you look at these they are all coming down to the same uh, concept in the next part of this recording uh, i would like to look at a couple of systems and sketch free body diagrams so i have these little figures you can see uh, it's an l-shaped pipe uh, there is a couple moment applied which is 200 300 pounds here and there's a cable this is a tension force to show the coordinate system there's only one connection right that's an ideal location to to pick as your origin Let's look at support reactions. This cannot move in Y direction. You are going to have reaction AY. Direction is just an assumption. You would do the calculation and at the end, if it comes out to be positive, your assumed direction would be correct. If it's negative, just invert your assumption. X direction, again, it cannot move. If it cannot move, it's going to develop reaction. Z direction, again, there is going to be reaction because it cannot move. In terms of moments, the only moment which is not going to be present would be moment around Y axis because this can rotate, but you are going to have moments around other axis M A Z based on right hand rule this is going to rotate in this way this is an assumption again M A X and based on this rule uh, it's going to rotate in this way so that is pretty much it another one couple moment here there is a force there support is at C if you pick your coordinate system from C there is nothing at that location right the, the main problem is occurring with this l-shaped pipe so it would be more natural to choose such a coordinate system it's not extremely um, critical you can choose another one this but this seems to be the most natural coordinate system for this problem we have three supports in terms of movements this cannot move vertically so this is a z um, it cannot move in y direction but it can move unless there's a special details which is not obvious to us uh, we would assume that this can move x direction right that's also through this pipe could move in that slot we are not going to have any reaction there the movement is prevented this is bx this can move vertical so i don't have any reaction there but i am going to have this reaction which is cx i'm going to have cy again directions i'm just uh, assuming some directions in terms of moment reactions for example here rotation about x-axis free it can rotate it's not if this was a square shaft you would develop moment about x-axis but here it's a round shaft no moment so no moment will be developed this is my final example this is 
an object a rigid body the easy one is this hinge we, we see this hinge and doors going to prevent movement in this direction in that direction as well as in this direction coordinate system you want to get your main problem in the main plane here it's really obvious x y plane should be in this door or in this element axis this is prevented but it can go inside this shaft so i'm not going to write a y a y is is not there in terms of rotation this is intended to rotate around y axis thanks very much for your attention and i wish you a good rest of your day